So good morning, welcome back or welcome to Yoga with Kira, uh, day nine of gratitude. Um, yeah, my gratitude writing down things is really changing. Um, yeah, it's just suddenly it's like it's dropped down into a whole new layer of things to be grateful for. Um, it's very beautiful. So today we're going to feel or wait. So come lie on the floor and uh, let's check in. Come. So lying on the floor, your knees can be bent or your legs can be straight as you wish. As always, kind of wiggle yourself in, unpack your shoulders, move your feet. I really feel the floor and connect to the, the sense of your yoga mat on the floor beneath you. And then imagine that you're lying on a beach and it's sand beneath you and your body makes a body print, a bit like a footprint into the floor. And as you rest here, what kind of a shape does that body print make? Is it bigger at the back of one of your shoulders or one of your hips? Is it smaller or lighter on one of your shoulders or your hips? Is the back of one arm bigger? Is your head center or is your head slightly to the side and how it connects and drops into the floor? Where would you feel that the heaviest part of you is right now? Is it your right leg, your left leg, the right side of your pelvis, the left side of your pelvis, your mid back, your shoulders, your arms, your head? Where it feels like it has the most solid connection to the floor? Nice. And as always, my body follows a very particular pattern. Every time we do any of these exercises, it's very obvious that one side is different from the other side. And for you, is that true as well? Or is it a, a more complicated bit here and bit there kind of story? So bring your arms long beside you, bend your knees, and then draw your lower back down and flatten and then arch into the lower back. So we're beginning with the pelvic tilt. And just feel the movement of the deep lower belly as you flatten down and then the lengthening and opening as you arch. Just feeling, sensing movement of the pelvis and then imagine that you can, well, you don't have to imagine, you can do it even. So keeping your knees more or less center, just lift the left pelvis and then the right pelvis. And so you're now rocking left to right, but you're not rocking your knees, you're mobilizing the pelvis. So how do you lift the left side of your hip or your left bum off the floor and lift the right bum off the floor one at a time, keeping your knees more or less center? Pause with the right buttock up. Nice, drop it down. Pause with the left buttock up. Drop it down and then draw a circle through the back of your pelvis, like there's a clock on the back of your pelvis. And just rolling. Well, then roll in the other direction. Nice. Sway your knees now from side to side. Let them rock in one direction and then in the other. Notice the sensations that emerge, you know, the twangs, the lengthening, the aches, the groany bits, but nothing should feel uncomfortable or painful. It's well, slightly uncomfortable, but nothing is painful because all the time you're adapting, adjusting. Maybe you don't go down as far on one side as the other. I just feel that. Squeeze both knees up onto your chest, squeeze them both down. And as you squeeze your knees in, how does the weight of your body feel on the floor? And do you feel even or uneven in how the pressure of your spine is into the floor? Now stretch your legs up towards the ceiling, opening through the backs of your knees. 
bend your knees, squeeze your knees down towards you. And as you stretch your legs up, notice what happens to the weight of your body through the spine. And as you squeeze your knees in, notice how it changes. So the pattern or the plane of contact between you and the floor is ever changing, you know, but one of the deep resources, it's one of those things that is just such an anchor in my inner sensation world is that there is always weight. Gravity is always pulling me down and I'm always in contact with something unless I'm in the sea and I'm floating. So just right now, feel the weight and the contact of the floor and really let yourself sink and rest into it as you bend your knees and as you straighten your legs. Super. Bend both knees, bring your feet to the floor. So bring your arms wide and out to the side and then bend your left elbow and let it travel across towards the right hand and touch beyond the right hand and then come back to center. And my feet are staying flat on the floor. And then do the same side again. Reach over towards the right with your left hand and then come back. And I'm just bringing the left elbow to the floor. I'm keeping the elbow bent when it comes back. And then travel. Elbow bends, it comes to the floor. Travel. Where do you feel this? I feel this in my right belly, right side of my waist left shoulder, left rib cage. Nice, try the other side. Reaching towards the left with your right hand. And so I don't have much of a reach here, so I'm gonna actually keep my elbow bent and reach with my elbow. Because if I do a straight arm, I really bang into the curtain very fast. I'm keeping my elbow bent, so I have a sense of my rib cage really moving to the end of its range. Super, come back to center. Nice. So the title of this class is Elephant. So Elephant is a very particular movement. So if you have anything going on with your shoulders, do the, this movement really slowly in the beginning because we're venturing into a new range of motion. So left arm, bring it beside you to the floor and then sweep your left hand across the front of your thighs and then over towards the right hand and then up at a 45 degree angle so that it's kind of out from your ear at a 45 degree angle. Nice, and then sweep back, bring your arm long to the floor. Do it again. Sweep your left hand across and then come back. And so for me, as I do this, I feel the back of my shoulder. I feel the back of the capsule of my shoulder joint. So I just feel that. Nice. Same thing to the side. Left arm is long. And now sweep your right hand up and at a 45 degree angle. And then back across the front of you to the floor. So you're sweeping across and then up. Maybe you don't feel anything. Maybe this is a very easy movement for you. Maybe this is catching the bejesus out of your shoulders. <laughs> See and listen as always. It's interesting, one of my shoulders, as always, is different from the other. One of these kids is not the same. Da, da, da. So we're going to increase this movement. So both arms are wide. Drop both knees down to the right. And now swing that left hand all the way up and reach above your head. And then pull your elbow back behind you. Reach your left hand up and at 45 degree angle. And then back. So it's not heading towards the right hand, it's above the right hand and long. And I'm really reaching as far as I can. I have this sense of reaching, 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 and then pause in the reach. And I feel like my deep belly on the left, my left shoulder is really at its maximum wellness and reach. I caught a dog as always. <laughs> Nice, coming back, other side. Left arm is long, drop your knees down towards the left. Swing your right arm up and over to the 45 degree angle up on the right side. No, on the left side, sorry. And then pull your elbow back. So you're at a diagonal, reach your right arm up and over. Pull your elbow back. 
right arm up and over and your knees stay down towards the left as you do this one last time and pause reach oh, there's something deep in my belly it's like the psoas is really getting lengthier the side of my waist probably my obliques side of my hip probably the iliotibial band the tismus dorsi the serratus 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 Nice, just reaching. And then come all the way back. Super cool. Come sit up. <clears throat> Legs are long in front of you. So again, if you want, uh, always when we're sitting upwards, if you want to bring something underneath your bum, you can. If you feel like you're rounding backwards because your legs are tight. So stick us something underneath your bum. We're going to look at elephant again. So bring both hands to the floor beside you. And then sweep your right hand across the front of you and then let your right arm rest at the corner of your left eye and then swing it back i drop my head forward as i swing and then as i lengthen the left arm up and over i'm just leaning into the side of my body forward and as i do this naturally my hand that lands on the floor is moving a little bit further and further back because I want more range and more of a lean. And just feel, I always feel like when I'm moving, that movement is like fireworks in the night. So right now, you can feel this incredible connectivity from your hip into your armpit through the whole side of your waist. To go oh there's that connection that ribbon of connection oh there's that ribbon of connection nice when you go over to one side just pause be in a range of wellness reach a little bit longer push down into the floor with your hand with your bum lengthen through your legs and then reach 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 through your finger so you're engaging a sense of long through the deep of your belly, the deep of your shoulder. Nice, coming back, other side. Find that connection of reaching through your arm. Remember, if your arm is sore, then you've gone too far. It's a really good indication. Your body will tell you. Pushing down into the floor with your hands, with your bum, lengthening through your legs. And then coming back. Nice. So we're going to come into zigzag with our legs. So zigzag is where our two knees are bent. My two knees are pointing towards the right and my right foot is near my left thigh. Okay. And my left bum is off the floor. I like, it's really hard. I couldn't get my left bum down there if I tried. So all the weight of me is now into the right buttock. So actually just feel that, feel the weight of your body. So I can feel it in the, my ankle bone on the right ankle bone on the left, the big toe on the left, the inner knee on the left, and definitely down into the right buttock, okay? So reach your right arm long to the side and bring your right elbow down so that my, my chest is near the right thigh. And then sweep the left arm overhead and long. Nice. And then turn towards the floor and bring the baby finger side to the floor and bring your nose to your knee. Turn sideways, pull your elbow down towards your hip. Reach long and then turn towards the floor. Bring your baby finger down to the floor, nose to your knee. Side, elbow bends, long, baby finger to the floor. Side, elbow bends, side, baby finger to the floor. Nice, last one. Side, elbow bends. Side, pause there. Really feel super long through that left arm. I'm reaching into my fingertips. My neck feels comfortable, it feels free. My right elbow is super strong into the floor and I'm lengthening my rib cage front and back. And I have a sense of really deeply moving or lengthening into the left rib cage on the side. Nice. Turn towards the floor, baby finger down, nose down to your knee, and slide the baby finger further and further away from you.
Nice. Sliding back, coming up, change sides. Zigzag to the left, as always. If your knee doesn't like this, then find some other options. Stretch your leg out long, have both legs long. You know, find, be creative, find some way of sitting on the floor, and then you're going to move to the side. So from here, feel the weight of your body on the floor. More weight now into the left buttock. Bring your left elbow down so that my chest is down towards the left thigh and then sweep your right arm across the front of you long through the right side of your body turn towards the floor baby finger comes down nose to your knee side pull your elbow down towards your hip long baby finger nose to your knee long pull your elbow down one more time long baby finger down to the floor long elbow down to your hip super travel long and as you're reaching long feel the engagement of your body so maybe start that again bend your elbow and then as you reach know that this is one you're going to stay in so feel like you're reaching from the deep of your belly lengthening through the full of your body as you reach 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 my neck is free, my shoulder is comfortable, my ribs are expanding deeply. Nice. Turn towards the floor, baby finger down. Let your baby finger slide further and further away. Nose comes down to your knee. Super. Come all the way back up. Stretch your legs out long. Cool. So from here, bring your hands to your thighs. Slide your hands forward as far as you can, reaching down towards your toes. And then sitting up tall, look up towards the ceiling. Pull your elbows back so that they're pulled back into double lawnmower. And then slide your hands forward. Forehead comes down. And then pull your elbows back into double lawnmower. And then just... Feel your spine, we're rounding deeply. Ah, and arching, begin to lean into your range, whatever that is. Forward. And back. Forward. And back. Nice, next time you come forward, um, hold on to whatever it is that you feel or contact with with your hands and then just rock your bum from side to side. So tendency, those of you who are new to my practice, uh, this tendency that yoga has of finding a stretch and then holding it in deep agony is not what we're going to be doing. So as we rock from side to side, it's like we have a, a bow and the violin strings are the backs of your thighs and the backs of your calves. So rather than just playing one note, which is where we stay still, we're trying to roll and rock from side to side so that there's more ease or more range or a little bit of softness. Now slide your hands back till they're either on your knees or on your thighs and then just arch your back and then round your back like your nose is coming down to your belly button. Arch your back. And the nose down to your belly button. Cool. Come lie on the floor all the way down. Last movement, we're going to come into a twist. So feet are on the floor and your feet are hip distance apart. Drop both knees down. Shoulders are really anchored. And then glide your right knee up in the direction of your left shoulder and just pause there. And then anchor down deeply through the right side. Imagine, so you're holding onto your right knee, but imagine that there's a magnetic quality through the right side of your body. And it's like, you know that thing where it's like when you were a kid and you, you became like a sack of potatoes and you were like, I will not be lifted. And you just got weight moving through the back of your body. So just try and do that. Like just get really heavy into the floor with and try and imagine that that right side is getting heavy it's floating in the air still because my knee is over towards the left but i just have this sense of deep connection through the right side of my body this sense of weight traveling backwards I'm breathing into it nice and then let the weight actually travel backwards let it land 
foot to the floor. Other side, drop your knees down towards the left and oh, right, sorry. Draw the left knee up, hold on to the left knee. And now imagine that the weight of your body will travel backwards through the left side. The sense of really anchoring the deep sense of weight through the left side of your body. Even I feel the left side of my face is heavy, left shoulder is heavy. Left rib cage is really sinking and melting backwards. Nice, come back to center. So either rock your knees, squeeze your knees up towards you, hands to your belly, legs long. See what you need to do, what you want to do. And then settle in and just feel the footprint of your body on the floor. The sense of weight of you. Nice. Super cool. So if you haven't done it already, write down three things that you're grateful for sometime today. Venture into the territory of noticing the things that resource you, things that support you. Uh, at the moment, what I, what's my insight is my attitudes on the inside that inspire wellness. You know, that change happens. That really small and incremental choices that I make have a fundamentally huge outcome when they carry on for years. And yeah, just that really, yeah, change happens. And I can, I can really instill in the deep of me thoughts and actions that inspire and create wellness. Um, so yeah, so what are you grateful for today? Um, thanks for joining me. I will see you all tomorrow. Um, another glorious day of gratitude. <laughs> um, and yeah, uh, be well, be awesome, be you. And um, yeah, the, somebody sent me an amazing, I'll just talk for a second. Somebody sent me this amazing text last night about uh, creativity and this sense of, you know, it's not going, it's like this, this pouring out of you into the world is such an amazing expression. So let you be present in the world because actually there's nobody else who's doing exactly that right now. And uh, you are needed in this world. Um, so yeah, I really inspired by the text that was sent to me. See you tomorrow. Ciao, ciao.